Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen with me, Debbie. I'm making some awesome mac and cheese to go with my Sunday's dinner, okay? Now this pot I, here, over here, I have one and a half box of penne pasta that I cook al dente. The, the directions on the box, if I recall, say cook 10 to 12 minutes to get al dente. But I put this eight minutes because you're going to finish it in the, in the oven and I, don't, I do not like when the pasta is too soggy. So in this pan over here, I'm going to make a cream sauce. I am going to add two cups of whole milk. Two cups of whole milk. Here I have um, one stick of melted butter with, with two teaspoons of minced garlic. I wanted to flavor the butter up real well. My kids and I, we love our mac and cheese to be um, full of flavor. Okay. And over here I have some, I have one onion that I diced. Included is a little bit of bell pepper. I just had that left over from another meal. But yeah, sometimes I like to add different colored bell peppers as well. Today I'm trying to take it easy because I have so much going on. So let me incorporate the melted butter and garlic, the, the diced onion and the little bell pepper in this. Alright, I'm going to make a cheese sauce. I have some diced cheese here. I have an 8 ounce block of chopped cheddar, an eight ounce block of Kobe Jack that I dice. I'm gonna make a cream oops, I'm gonna make a cream sauce with this. Get back here. The goal is just to melt all this. And into the, the pasta I have some roasted garlic powder. I mean just because it's mac and cheese doesn't mean it can be Flavorful, you know. No, that was my um, poultry season. Now here's the garlic powder. I would say about a half a teaspoon of each. Okay. This is coming along good, guys. To this, you can also add for your cream sauce. You can also add a little sour cream or cream cheese. I'm choosing not to. I mean, there's no way to really make mac and cheese healthy, but the less in this case I think is better. Let me turn this down because I want the cheese melt. I don't want to burn stuff up, but I'm going to mix the pasta up with the seasonings I added in there. I have some heavy cream here. I always make things creamier. I'm gonna have a half a cup of heavy cream. Jack. If this thing is not cheesy, I'm gonna add a um, half of the, 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 the eight ounce bag of Monterey Jack shredded, and then I have a bag of um, medium cheddar. in there also because I'm going to save some for the top. Come on. Work with me and yes 
my hands are clean. I am constantly washing them in the kitchen. Yeah, Jay was not able. No, no. Jay and her dad just went to the store, so I'm alone. Okay, guys. Now let me pour this cream sauce. Pour this cream sauce in here. Just so you know, that's an option. You can also add, you know, bacon on the top. Kids love that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little, little bit of this um, medium cheddar on the top also. They can't say they didn't get enough cheese. guys um just for a little pre-color I'm sprinkling a little bit of paprika on the top on the top that's real and also a little bit of cayenne for a little bit of kick and as well as a little more pretty color Okay guys, I'm gonna bake this 375. Oh, this up. 375 for 40 minutes. You can check on it until it's golden brown and there's not a lot of liquid in there. But I'm gonna say 40 minutes, okay? Guys, when we come back, we're gonna have amazing, amazing, amazing mac and cheese, okay?